All right, everyone. As promised, we're going to do or start the series Juice Daddy Collection. And I said I'd start it with NES. And ooh boy, strap in. Looks like we're going to have some fun. You may hear my coffee percolating in the background. I suggest you grab a cup yourself. Because we're going to go through the NES collection. CJR just put on his Facebook page that he's reached 435 in NES. I may have him beat. I don't know. Of course, in my small apartment, I can't display him like he does. They're sitting in these plastic tubs. But I got the games. So let's go through the games. All right, we're going to start with this stack right here. This stack right here is the $5 game box games. So these are the games that we've collected ever since we restarted season two, or started season two of the $5 game box um, back in, uh, back earlier this year. So let's just get to it. It's going to be a long one. I may tell stories about a game or two. So, sip of coffee. Let's go. Turn on the light. There we go. I'll try to be quick on most of them. Uh, Tiger Heli. Tiger Heli, this is a five screw. Spy Hunter. Ultima Exodus. The Adventures of Lolo. Cyberball. River City Ransom. Very happy to have found that for kind of cheap. Super Dodgeball. Super Spike V-Ball and Nintendo World Cup. Skater Die 2. Monopoly. This may, Monopoly may be a duplicate now. It is. Okay. Baseball Stars, Cobra Triangle, ooh, I need to clean that, <laughs> I should scrub that, <laughs> that's another thing, going through all this, like, oh, I should scrub that, oh, I should put that in a protector, uh, the Tenjin Patman, Empire Strikes Back, Vice Project Doom, uh, happy to be able to afford that through the $5 game box collection and that uh, set amount of money. It's been a really good season, and when I see this, you know, sitting in the retro store, even if he's charging 30 bucks, or whatever, for it, to be able to move on a game like that, it's pretty cool. Worm, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Solstice. Hudson Hawk. Bruce Willis movie. I don't think it's any good. Desert Commander. <laughs> We're going through a string of games that I found at a pawn shop for $5 each, and my jaw about damn hit the floor when that happened. Section X. Metal Mech. Cabal. Defender 2. And a, uh, I think this is a pretty pricey game, Shadow of the Ninja. Um, I have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure it's in, it's in the 60 to $70 range. Super Sprint. Guerrilla War. Great game. Crystallis. Great game. Afterburner. Pretty sure Sega didn't like that. <laughs> Uh, Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, about a $50 game. I was able to move on that uh, recently. Clue Clue Land. Ninja Crusaders. Another pretty nice uh, title. Super C. Akari Warriors 3. Akari Warriors 2. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. 
Gauntlet 2. Gauntlet. Friday the 13th. Shatterhand. Able to pick this up along with uh, Mega Man 6 from a local collector. At a, he does about a yearly garage sale. Puts out games. And uh, I think I got these for $60 total. Which was a really good price. Defender of the Crown. Found this for $5 at a pawn shop. Which it's not a very pricey game. But it's actually pretty good. It's one of those ultra titles that's actually pretty fun to play. Dick Tracy. Strider. Snake Rattle and Roll. Picked this up at a garage sale along with three other games. She wanted a quarter each. G.I. <laughs> Joe. I picked this was came along with that Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Same pickup. Uh, another $50 title. Little League Baseball. Bo Jackson Baseball. And finally, Commando. That's what's in the $5 game box. Let's get to what's in my big collection uh, starting now. You know, thinking about this bonus for me gives me a chance to pull games like these from the $5 game box that I want to get in protective sleeves. So, hey, two birds, a word, one stone. Don't work harder, work smarter, baby. Do a video and then take care of some shit. All right, this little stack of games right here is the start of my one, two, three, fourth of those big plastic cases full of games. So, hi. All right, Yoshi. Marble Madness. Operation Wolf. Jaws. Donkey Kong Jr. Dragon Power. Athena. Batman, fun game. What I really should do is pull some games, like do a video, pull some NES games if you're interested in like fun games that aren't going to like break your wallet and make you have to take a second mortgage. Uh, Batman's one of those. Willow. Cyber Stadium Series Base Wars. Focus. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. There's one I'm setting aside to put in a protector. Bomberman, I really need to take a scrubby to that. Wall Street Kid. Image Fight. Uh, Xevious, uh, Justin's first shooter, basically is what I call that. Twin Eagle. 1943. Twin Cobra. Let you see the light. <laughs> Qbert. Goal 2. Uh, one of those sports titles you shouldn't just uh, toss in the trash can on your YouTube video. About a $22 game right there. Got the manual for it as well. Might go ahead and protect it. Zoda's Revenge. Star Tropics 2. And uh, Sky Kid, I kind of got caught slipping buying this off Makari because uh, the way he took the pictures, I thought it was complete in box. I was getting a screaming deal. Then this arrived, and I looked closer at the pictures. I'm like, all right, I should have noticed it. I mean, the cart is in there with some rental stickers all over it, manual. I mean, this rental case is kind of cool, so I'm not complaining too much, but I probably overpaid for what I received on that. All right, sip of coffee. I can't say that nearly as cool as Bithead 1000. Sip of coffee. All right, we'll go with the first of our three tubs. Rally bike is just a box. I should just go ahead and buy the game. It's probably less than $10 off eBay. Uh, Monopoly is box and game only. Yeah, there's no manual. So, I should sell this. I got Monopoly in the $5 game box. I don't really care about having the box Monopoly. And really, it's my only box NES game I've got. That's just a case. Kings of the Beach. Blades of Steel, classic. 
by you, Billy, the answer of, uh, did Konami do no wrong on the NES? Yeah, they did a little wrong. Little wrong. Not a great thing. Super Play Action Football with the manual. Good game. Oh, that's enough. I was like wondering, like, I would have put a case on or sleeve on that if I had the manual. Rampage. Legacy of the Wizard. WrestleMania Challenge. Karate Champ. Astinax. Orb 3D, 10 Yard Fight, Jordan vs. Bird, Win, Lose, or Draw, Bible Adventures, oh boy, Puzzle, Jeopardy, I lost on Jeopardy, baby, Track and Field, Hoops, Anticipation, Pinball Quest, don't forget to rewind your NES games, George Foreman's KO Boxing, Tiger Heli, this is a duplicate, but this is the three screw, I've got the five screw in the five dollar game box, Wizards and Warriors, Uh, Nintendo World Cup, Tetris 2, Golf, 720, The Adventures of Dino Ricky, Dino and Ricky, or is it just, no, it's Dino Ricky, Double Dare, oh god, covered in stickers. Loved this show as a kid, but we didn't have cable, so couldn't watch it that often. Mylon's Secret Castle? Oh, I always thought it was Milton's. Milton's Secret Castle. Uh, WrestleMania with uh, a manual. Kind of a beat-up manual, but it's the manual. Three D World War Runner. Ooh, it's like some poop on it. Athletic World with a uh, manual. <laughs> the story behind this game is uh, I got it at a garage sale. And uh, the lady was like, they, they didn't want to sell the NES games because we haven't looked them up yet. But she's like, I've got a trackpad and a couple games that go with it we'll get rid of. I'm just like, oh, well, sure, if you're just going to get rid of them, thinking... Hey, the most priciest NES game is a trackpad game, so if you don't... And I just initially saw, like, that. Like, and I was like, oh, shit, because if you... That could be stadium events, but this athletic world. Swords and Serpents. Ski or Die. Ice Climber. Pro Wrestling. Uh, I loved this game as a kid, and just sitting here holding it, I'm like, how come none of these characters are in Smash Bros? They should add, like, uh, Starman or the, you know, the Piranha guy. One of these guys should be in, at least as an assist trophy. Rambo? Well, maybe they already are. I haven't dug that deep in the new Smash Bros yet. Wayne Gretzky Hockey? Mission Impossible? WCW Wrestling, I thought this game was underrated as a kid. Uh, it gets kind of shit on, and I see it now as an adult. But the graphics are really awesome. And I was able to kind of, with Sting and stuff, kind of get far. But that boss is a bitch. A bitch. Uh, the Punisher, about a $15 game right there. WWF WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. RBI Baseball 2. 
Monster Party. Bases Loaded 3 with uh, Ryan Sandberg. Tag Team Wrestling. Track and Field 2. Oh, I am bleeding because I've... I I cut myself pulling out NES games. Heavy shredding. <laughs> I injured myself pulling out... I cut myself on the damn dust covers. Damn. Oh. Ring King. Really great boxing game. I remember trading that... Taking it back and begging as a kid because I got that by one of Mike Tyson's punch outs. So Kmart took Ring King back and got punch out. Which is great. I loved Mike Tyson's punch out, but... If you want a boxing game, Ring King's really good. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt with a manual. I have to get a Band-Aid. Home Alone. <laughs> Let me stop this for a second. I'm going to get a Band-Aid. Oh, damn. All right, I'm back. Bandaged up. <laughs> Left off of Home Alone. All right. Back to the Future 2 and 3. I I cut myself. I, this dust covers. Dust covers. Top Gun. Silent Service. Tetris. If you have the 10 Gen Tetris, you've got a valuable game. Millipede. Get in there. Deja Vu. Uh, Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and International Track and Field, or International Track Meet, World Class Track Meet. Skater Die. Tecmo NBA Basketball. Super Spike V Ball. Platoon. RBI Baseball 3. Sky Shark, Back to the Future, Hook, Fester's Quest, Bases Loaded, from Empire Video in Livingston, Montana, Double Dribble, Double Dribble, Sesame Street ABC, let her go around Ernie's Big Splash. Muppet Adventure. The Hunt for Red October. Ice Hockey. Wheel of Fortune. Junior Edition. Top Gun Second Mission. Supercars. Old Hastings rental right there. John Elway's quarterback and uh, video motion. All right, so that's it for tub one. So I'm going to go grab tub two. We'll keep this going. You know, I actually forgot while putting that first tub away. There's four more games in the five dollar game box that I pulled out of the five dollar game box and put in the five dollar game box overstock back at my closet. Nothing special. That's why I pulled them out. Uh, Bigfoot. Sesame Street, Big Birds Hide and Speak. That's why I like, oh, I've got more Sesame Street games. Uh, Fisher Price, Perfect Fit. And Home Alone 2. So four more in the $5 game box. Oh, big tub number two. Here we go. Robocop. Robocop 3. Nightshade. Conquest. Of the Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Indie Electronica band. Took the name from that. Chiller. You can kind of get a look at what these uh, protective cases I'm going to put some of these in. Chiller. The legend or the magic of... I can't pronounce it. Shazifur. Here, let's see if I can... You pronounce that. Focus on it first. 
Shirazazade? Shirazazade? It's an interesting game. And uh, Burai Fighter. Adventure Island 1. Adventure Island 2. Wish this camera would focus on me or the game. One or the other. Doesn't matter. Adventure Island 3. Got that in the case already. Tecmo Super Bowl. About a $20 game. Rad Racer. Rad Racer 2. Joust. Clash at Demon Head, which is uh, the uh, evil band in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Clash at Demon Head. Uh, Zanuck? With lots of stickers on it. A little shooter on the NES. Xenophobe? I love this in the arcades, but it's a quarter muncher, man. It's not, not easy. Dragon, uh, Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, and Double Dragon 3. Rygar, of course, classic. The Simpsons, Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Excite Bike, 5 Screw. Tecmo World Wrestling. RBI Baseball, 1942, Maniac Mansion, Paperboy, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, I only remember this movie for that freaking Brian Adams song, everything I do, do it for you. How many freaking weddings are I? Proms. Homecoming. The Immortal. Kid Nicky. Twin Eagle. Did I have that? Is that a do? I don't think so. Breakthrough. I've got a copy of Breakthrough in our 300 sub contest. So if you haven't subbed... Please subscribe to the channel. Got 300 sub contests. When I reach 300 subs, I'm going to give away a bunch of games to a lucky subscriber. That's one of them. I got a ton of great games, so you should subscribe. Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2. Got a little Fabio action. Solar Jetman. Legendary Wings. Karnov. Pac-Man, the non-Tengen version. Treasure Master. See the Angry Video Game Nerd uh, video about this game. <laughs> and, uh, see the story behind that. Metroid. OG Mega Man. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 4, and Mario Bros. No, <laughs> Mega Man 5. So yeah, I've got all the NES Mega Mans with uh, Mega Man 6 being in the $5 game box. And you just saw that a little bit ago. Kickle Cubicle. Kung Fu. Final Fantasy. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Gunsmoke. I like this game. It's one of my favorites from the 80s in the arcade. I didn't like it as much on the NES, uh, mostly because the control, it needs three buttons. And uh, I forgot how they handle it. I haven't played the NES version in a while, but the arcade with the three buttons, awesome. Oh, I can't get this one out. It's uh, Dragon Spirit, the new legend with manual. This game is also on uh, Turbo Graphics, and of course, probably much better on Turbo Graphics. 
Oh, I got the manual for that too. Uh, Last Starfighter with a manual. Uh, Last Starfighter, better movie than game. <laughs> Much better movie than game. I love that movie as a kid. The Moffat Conspiracy. This is a sequel to GoGo 13, which is right there. GoGo 13. I loved GoGo 13 as a kid too. It was like almost. It was literally not literally, but James Bond. It was like playing a James Bond game. Russian Attack. Narc. It's kind of surprised to find this as an official licensed NES release. Because that was a uh, controversial game back in the day. The Rocketeer. Life Force. Blaster Master. Love that game as a kid too. One of those... Again, cheap games that are just absolutely fun and amazing. Great graphics. Stinger. Demon Sword. Star Tropics. Donkey Kong Classics. That was in a weird dust cover. What is that? Oh, like some third party aftermarket sleeves. I'm not a fan of these, uh, the sleeves, the dust covers. I don't really like them. Trojan, five screw. I've talked about this game, and oh, Pat the NES Punk on his podcast has talked about it. Jackal. You want to talk about a game you can get for $10, $12, maybe even less, and it's this amazing, fun Jackal. Um, Archon? Archon? Crazy Creatures. Hogan's Alley. Captain Comic. Kung Fu Heroes. That was a garage sale pickup. RC Pro-Am. Of course, a lot of these are probably garage sale pickups. Kid Cool. From American Home Theaters. Kid Cool and the Quest for the Seven Wonder Herbs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've made fun of that title before, but Kid Cool and the Search for the Seven Wonder Herbs. Yeah, man. <laughs> awesome. Gary Kitchen's Battle Tank. I still don't know who Gary Kitchen is. The Incredible Crash Test Dummies. Bad label. Need to upgrade that. MC Kids. They love McDonald's. They're the MC Kids. Arkista's Ring. Pretty good game, too. Stanley, The Search for Dr. Livingston. Codename Viper. Also good to go through these because some of these I found and maybe left behind for one reason or another. Kind of keep in mind what I need label upgrades on. Uh, Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. Because I know I've passed on an MC Kids before. I don't know why I left it behind. Uh, Firehawk. Joe and Mac. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden 2. Ninja Gaiden 3. And one of the uh, jewels of my collection, one of my proudest finds, because I got this game in a gr garbage sack, garbage bag full of games and an NES console that worked, so I was able to sell that, sell a lot of duplicates. I made money because it was fifteen dollars. He guy wanted fifteen dollars for this, so selling the console itself, I made money. I sold the duplicates. I made money. I kept some games, including this one, Rockin' Cats, in really, really good shape. Yeah, I've, <laughs> it was one of my better garage sale finds. This garage sale was uh, 
it was a Sunday night. I remember I was, I was heading to get something to eat and then the rush home because a WWE pay-per-view was starting. It was like 5.45. The pay-per-view started at 6. So I'm like rushing to grab something to eat. And I see like a cardboard sign, garage sale, arrow. I'm like, oh, whatever. So I pull over. Nobody's out there, but there's a bunch of old 80s like VCR tapes and stuff. Dude comes out. Hey, you got any like old video games? Yeah. Pulls out that garbage sack and I start looking I'm like, what are you thinking? He's like, 15? I'm like, all right. And Rockin' Cats was in there. I couldn't be more happy. All right, uh, one more big tub to go through. Let's get to it. All right, one more tub. There it is. Metal Fighter. Heavy Barrel. Thundercade. A Boy and His Blob. Metal Storm. I think I got this off eBay, so I probably... I paid under eBay. I'm sure I used a coupon, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, last Christmas, about a year ago, my parents sent me a $100 bill for Christmas. Had a Merry Christmas. I was like, thank you. What to use it on? I always struggle when somebody gives me cash not to use it on, like, essentials, like food, deodorant, soap, laundry detergent. Say, it's a gift. I should get something for myself. Not use it for stuff, but use it for, like, stuff I want. I use it on Bucky O'Hare. $100 straight across for that title from the uh, local game store. In really nice condition. There's a couple little nicks on the label, but Bucky O'Hare in the collection. So, thank you, Mom. Another kind of pricier title. Uh, Wampum. Very, uh... Racist. <laughs> Probably couldn't get away with this game today. I'm going to set it aside for um, casing. Monster in my pocket. Probably should put this in a protector too. Uh, Kickmaster. I'm not sure where that's at. I think it's around 50 to 60. Maybe even more. Spelunker. Silkworm. Bad dudes. Thank you, uh, Matt Johnson. Whoever you are. Kirby Adventure. Uh, Mag Max. Battletoads. Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Dragon Warrior with uh, manual. Of course, Dragon Warrior. I don't know. Like, Dragon Warrior seems to be a dime a dozen. I don't know why I find so many of those. I think there was a... They really pushed that game back in the day. And everybody seemed to have it. But not everybody was ready for RPGs, especially, you know, until, like, Final Fantasy VII, the graphics really, like, blew people away. That's when people got into RPGs, like, as a mass. But a lot of people picked up Dragon Warrior because of the graphics and the cover art, you know. And then, you know, it turns out you got to read a lot. And nobody likes to do that. Dragon Warrior 2. Dragon Warrior 3. And uh, another great garage sale pickup, Dragon Warrior 4. Um, it was, it was a Sunday late afternoon, early evening garage sale. It was one girl out there with a lot of girly stuff, clothes, uh, you know, makeup bags, accessories. But I always ask, and she said she had her and her brother's NES stuff inside. Um, and she brings out like a milk crate, like two of them, full of games and the system, but she is kind of attached to it, even though she readily admits she hadn't, it hadn't been hooked up in 15 years or something. So I tried to make, I didn't have a lot of cash on me at the time. I was cash poor because it was a Sunday night. And, um, I think I had like $38 on me and, uh, 
So I make like an offer, like, well, what do you want? Like, I'll give you 30 bucks, you know, thinking, oh, you haven't played it in 20 years. Fuck it. Uh, no, no, no. So I'm like, well, clearly you want to keep the system, which I didn't care about. I don't, I don't need the system. So I'm like, well, what games are you attached to? And she picked, you know, some ones that I, I have, but I was like, oh, I could have re resold that. Then she picked some ones that I didn't have. I'm like, oh, I really wanted that. But she had, it was, you know, Dragon Warrior. She doesn't have fond memories of it because it, it she didn't get into RPGs, NES RPGs. So she was very willing. And I got this and uh, I forgot like 12, 15 games for like $25. So really good pickup. There's the original Akari Warriors that I really need to clean. Oh, I should just upgrade that. Oh my god. Street Fighter 2010. Uh, Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2. I uh, join... I believe Bithead 1000 and maybe even CJR has said this before and a couple others. This is my favorite Super Mario Brothers game. I don't know what that says that my our favorite Mario Brothers game is not technically a Mario Brothers game, but uh, yeah, I really got into this. I played it and beat it a ton. I never played as Mario. Like the first two or three levels, I'd play as Toad because he picked the uh, grass fastest, and I can like get coins for the extra life game. And once I accumulated enough extra lives, I went strictly Luigi because he had the high jump. Yeah, he was slippery as shit, but that high jump kind of gets you out of troubles at times. So, um, Mario Brothers 2. And uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 with a manual. We have Little Nemo Dream Master. Metal Gear, another game we really enjoyed beating as a kid, but man, that final, like this, it's a computer? Oh. It should have been the nuclear mech in the original version. Uh, Snake's Revenge, Galaga, Demons of Death, like really, it's, it's Galaga. Was that tagline in the arcade? I don't think it was. I don't remember Galaga in the arcade being, Demons of Death. Kid Icarus, Contra, I love the legacy of this game. I mean, even like, a, I mean, you have a WWE wrestler and his video game like show on WWE's official YouTube channel being called Up, Up, Down, Down. I think that's awesome, personally. That's a Xavier Woods, and you should check that out. And if you do check it out, I'll recommend it, why not? Uh, you'll find out AJ Styles is a huge freaking retro gamer. <laughs> and every now and then AJ Styles is on there and they go into a game store and AJ's like, I'm buying that, I'm buying that. <laughs> Bubble Bobble with a manual. I recently had an opportunity to get Bubble Bobble 2. He was going to give it for me to, uh, for 260 which is about the price. And I just couldn't bring myself, especially here in December, and, you know, all the to me, from me's I did for Black Friday. I couldn't justify an additional 260 for one NES title, especially one I'm not in particular in, like, searching for, like Bubble Bobble 2. If I find it at a garage sale or a thrift shop for cheap, or I'd buy it. But paying the straight asking price of Bubble Bobble 2, I mean, maybe if you had, I don't know. But I'm not, I just couldn't justify it at the time. No way. Uh, Mickey Mousecapade. Here's a game I beat a ton as a kid. Goonies 2. I'd fire that up and I, I've had all... I, I figured it out. I probably couldn't do it today. I knew where all the secrets were. I knew where you... Like how to get where you needed to go inside those little caves and stuff. And uh, I love this game. Yo Noid. I should probably get this in a protective case. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Arcade Game. Dust sleeves. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Chippendales Rescue Rangers. The Adventures of Link with a uh, manual. Gold cart. Legend of Zelda. Alpha Mission. Ooh, look at that. Goodwill. Is that Goodwill? I don't know. God, that's another game I probably passed up a couple times because I like, I've got it. Now I know I need to upgrade that. Did not realize I was on there. POW. Iron Tank. Flight of the Intruder. I believe this is the one unlicensed repro in my collection. Holy Diver. Yeah, it's a flashback card. They even tell you right there. Holy Diver came out on uh, Famicom. But due to <laughs> licenses, <laughs> they could not release it in the States. Um, it's kind of a Castlevania clone. And they use, like, your character, like, I mean, it's Holy Diver. Your character is, like, um, you're Ronnie, and you're, you've got to go save the Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. And it's, you know, full of 80s metal references. Um, it did, I think a few months ago, maybe even a, yeah, just a few months ago, it did get an official release. You, it was like $100.00. And you got like a collector's book and something, but you got an official, actually official uh, U.S. release of Holy Diver. I was like, I really want it, I really want it, I really want it. Couldn't justify it since I've already got the repro cart. I'd rather have the Famicom cart, to be honest, uh, but that's one of those Famicom games that's really pricey. It's like a hundred bucks or more just to get the Famicom cart. Little Mermaid. Wild Gunman, uh, five screw. Balloon Fight. Bump and Jump. I loved this game as a kid, especially in the arcades. So here's another one I loved in the arcades. Oh, Popeye. Oh, such a good game. Five screw edition. Um, don't really remember the NES one that well, but man, I played every time it was in the arcades. I'm like, give me quarters, give me quarters, mom. Loved it. Rolling Thunder. Oh, love this game in the arcade, too. And uh, I believe there was a $5 game box episode. You saw some dude was selling the full arcade cab at his garage sale for $400. If I had cash and room, immediately would have bought and called somebody with a truck over to get that. Abadox. Zegzies, Zex, Zexies. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Ghost and Goblins. I need to get that price sticker off of there. And it's got a little label tear there. The Adams Family. Bionic Commando. GI Joe. Probably should stick that in a protector. Castlevania. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. And Castlevania 3 Dragon's Curse. Dracula's Curse. Dragon's Curse. Where I got that at. It, MiG-29 Soviet Fighter. Circus Caper, Dungeon Magic, Renegade, Dino Wars, Rescue the Embassy Mission, Spot the Video Game, Spot the Video Game, Dig Dug 2, Destination Earth Star. Shingen the Shingen Shingen the Ruler. I think you have to know all that stuff on that front cover. 
Time Lord. Punch Out. Flying Dragon. Shadow Gate. Ghostbusters. Uh, the Adventure Link Grey Cart. Pinball. Star Soldier. DuckTales. And finally, I think the priciest game in my collection, DuckTales 2. Got this from my uh, college buddy Aaron. He messaged me. I'm selling all my NES and Super NES games. And made a deal. $650. Still, I, I, that's the most I've paid for a collection. Dude, that's the most I paid. Because that big one that I just got earlier was $600. So $650. Um, sold a lot of duplicates. Half of it was dupes to my collection. And I'm... I didn't make money, but I got a lot back. I think after selling, I, I, it was quick sales. A lot of it went to the retro video game store. So I'm sure I had some credit. I think I sold back to get four to 450 back. And I kept, uh, there was three games in there that were good, uh, pricier games. This one being one, DuckTales 2. There was a Super NES title. I can't think off the top of my head. What was the third game that was kind of, like, wow, that's in there. I forgot. I thought it was an NES game, but for the life of me, I can't think what that third one was. I'll have to go back and watch my own videos. Anyway, DuckTales 2. There it is. So that is my NES collection. Uh, let me add it up. I don't think, maybe I, I should have come at the Master CJR so quick. I don't think I'm at 435, but let me find out. Hold on. It's added it up, unless I'm horrible at addition or I missed, like, a stack uh, 320. Is what I got. So yeah, I'm a little little short of a CJR. I thought I had more, but I mean 320, my god. I don't consider that bad considering um I don't have near as many places to find these as he does there. I know he's close to uh Toronto, he's in Ontario. I think the town he's in is probably two hundred and fifty thousand people. We don't have a town that's even half that here in Montana let alone here in Bozeman. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, right before I just shot this segment, uh, eBay dropped a coupon, 15% off any purchase. So I may be adding a couple more. So 320 NES titles in the Juice Daddy NES collection. Uh, let me know in the comments what system, what games you want to see next. Super Nintendo, Turbo Graphics, Wii, Wii U, Xbox, PlayStation, PS2. God, PS2, fuck. It may be a selection of PS2 titles. Sega Master System. We got a nice little stack of those. But I thought I'd start with one of the big ones, uh, the NES collection. I've got a ton of games I want to get in protective sleeves right now. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned here to the Juice Daddy channel. We'll do some live streams up uh, probably this weekend. Uh, we'll do some pickups and talk and uh, more stuff coming, more collection videos. Another episode of the $5 Game Box probably by the end of the month before the new year. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you wish. Ring the bell so you can see more of me. The instant I think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.